good morning beautiful souls Tim Wilde here and uh, back to the morning strolls I think for Friday today I think that's what we're going to be doing as you can see it's the beginning of autumn here in the UK the ferns or the bracken or Whatever you call them, they're starting to turn brown. The leaves are beginning to tumble from the trees, but the temperature oh, and the giant slugs are coming out as well. Sorry, this isn't going to turn into a nature documentary. I just do, I do like coming up here and seeing what it's all about. Especially when it's nice and misty like this. So, what's it all about then today? First of all, I'd just like to really just check in and see where we're all at <clears throat> as we're coming through this uh, particularly powerful and very physical lionscape. I mean, I know that I just change arms from time to time. I've been talking quite a lot now about the physicality of this year and the the only way to describe it I think this is where we're going today is Gaia's call to the platform Gaia being the throne angel of earth or the over presiding consciousness and energy whatever you'd like to call her and uh Although we've been all been very, very kind of pushed or enthusiastically guided in a certain direction for the majority of this pathway, especially since we passed through the cosmic moment, 21st of December 2012 and entered this 20 year window of transition, the message or the, I suppose the absolute, the, the energy of absolution has never been more so than it has been this year. The message has been, it is time. We are taking the barriers off the bowling lane. If the ball goes out, it's your responsibility. Aim straight, aim true, keep your form right. Make sure you remember how you were taught by the people that taught you because things are getting real. And that's put a very physical, deeply physical aspect into our ascension process. If you think about how energetic everything's been, it's all about the light. It's all about the anchoring of frequencies, the alchemy of density and negativity from the lower aspects of the third dimension into the heart centred of the fifth. This is all energy. We can sense it, we can perceive it, we can read it, we can hear it. Some, some of us can smell it. Uh, and... But then there comes to the point of the pathway where we can only hide behind the energies for so long, speaking about them or working with them in vents. This year it's the, the, the feathers of the angelic wings have pointed directly at you and me, which means that all of the talk, all of the energies, all of the intentions do have to be basically manifested into reality so when you and I'll be talking about this on Sunday night this is like a perfect segue for a little plug for my Sunday night ascension club I'm going to be working with the, the facets of integrating light how do we do that how do we keep our light high what's the best way to actually be Kind of anchoring it in and how does it affect us when we do that 
because this is what we're experiencing now are the not the consequences but basically we've had our restaurant meal delivered from the menu that we've ordered it from and it's kind of like well <laughs> Gaia being the chef is saying well you ordered this you are now required to eat every last little bit or you won't get any pudding and that's <laughs> so that's pretty much the size of it so in order to be you know resolutely unwaveringly dedicated to the fifth dimension to our ascension pathway to the elevation of consciousness on this planet or simply just being a good person I think that's the most important thing at the moment is being a good person being a, a good human a living breathing human being with a shiny radiant powerful soul within your body but being good being heart-centered speaking your truth when it is required from you but most importantly just simply acting speaking being and manifesting from the heart sounds nice and easy doesn't that well that's what we're all here to do but as with all of the complexities of the lessons of life and and how this planet is it happens to be the one that has been the most neglected within all within, within the majority of us and is also the one that is <laughs> physically funnily enough the most challenging to undertake so imagine you know where you've been in your physical body since you were born you know you were born into the you were born into 3D unless you were unless you are happening to be listening to me in the woods this morning and you were born from 20, 2010 onwards um, you would have been born into 3D or you would have been born out, sort of like just outside of the category of what we would call the golden children or the children of the, the new earth and so we would have very much had that visceral you know born into the third dimension experience where the it just seems that every single aspect of that matrix was geared to deplete life force or to or in other words maybe to harvest it to feed the body the wrong things to feed the body medicines that it does not need um, to educate it in a way that is stifling rather than allowing it to flourish and grow spirituality was kind of confined to words that were written in a book by a man <laughs> and then that becomes like an absolute when in actual fact where 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 was the true word of source in all of that there were always incredible glimmers of hope and shafts of life and shafts of light sorry and incredibly spiritual people living and growing and ascending on the planet during that time but the majority the majority of your personal birth and growth and your primary experiences would have been forged in 3d and that would have been what you are fixing now that's what this very physical process is all about it's about detoxifying the cells of the body it's about eating the correct things it's about um if we if you and i or anybody else are reliant on allopathic medicines that in actual fact we don't maybe really need some of us do and i'm not in any way shape or form saying that they have their place but the majority of the time we are just it's we're, we're throwing pills at pain that we should be looking we should be sitting with and we should be be working with and i know that i used to be incredibly you know hands up i was i was one of them so i used to cover up all of my my cycling or my kickboxing aches and pains with with painkillers because i couldn't be bothered to sit there and deal with it or to stretch it out it's just that's how we were because life has been so intense it's been so busy it's been so full-on we've taken the quick fixes we've taken the junk food we've listened to the droning box in the lounge because it shuts us down after a grueling day at work or school or whatever and it fills our head with the kind of like the dopamine hits that we need and all of a sudden we've all realized that the box in the lounge tells porkies 
and the food is not good for us. The medicines are actually harming us on a long-term basis. The education that our children receive is stifling and the people that have been puppeteering this planet for thousands of years now are basically a bunch of wrong uns. So where we are at this particular moment in time is the full physical detox. It's us spreading our wings, like opening and bearing our hearts to the incredible magnitude, power and light that is coming in from the cosmos and from the, the sun and our sun and the suns and our sun and elevating ourselves into this fifth dimensional frequency that we have all agreed to. I mean, if you're listening to this, you, I can pretty much guarantee that that is what you are here to do. And despite what some of us may be feeling, like when we, sorry, <laughs> been chatting away, forgot to walk, despite what a lot of us might be feeling about the outside world at the moment, it's, it's again, things are occurring energetically that have a remarkable effect on the way that people hold their consciousness. Even the most 3D aligned, hyper-programmed person can just suddenly wake up and it will happen with speed that will surprise you a lot more than it will surprise them because they're just kind of like left shell-shocked in this new world, receiving things that they've never received before, being aligned with frequencies and truths that they utterly, completely denied as false previously. And one of those, and that has been a real theme of this year. And again, that's why it's so physical, because we've got to hold space energetically for these souls and the planet as it does its as its energy work well it does this energy work while all of these frequencies come in but we know that so physically you and i are now preparing for the last period of the year we're coming into um, a period where pluto has re um, retrograded into capricorn it's kind of i mean can you imagine a last hurrah Okay, uh, there's, there's been lots of last hurrahs on this planet over the years, particularly as, as kind of human beings have been kind of dedicated to fighting each other and in fields or in woodland. You know, I expect even this, this particular patch of woodland that I'm walking through at the moment has seen its fair share of ding-dongs. And um, in fact, I know that, that it was kind of hotly contested at one point. So all of all of these all of these particular kind of threads of energy, that, that particular one is being sorted, morning, that particular one is being sorted out at the moment. And when you think of a last hurrah, you know, Custer's last stand, or more, more so the analogy that I used previously, I think I used it in my newsletter, I mean, we all know what happens in nature if you corner um, a wild animal. It doesn't matter whether that wild animal is by nature normally passive or whether it's predatory. If it believes that it has to defend its life, it will fight. And if it's wounded and if it's cornered, watch out. So this is the way that I would describe the... 3D matrix at this moment in time, it is cornered, it is disempowered, it's, it's grievously wounded, and it is now baring its teeth and defending itself, which is completely predictable, understandable, and we would do the same in the same circumstances. Morning. Hello. Oh, yeah. Are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed. And uh, so, how do we deal with that? How do we prepare ourselves for a creature that is basically going on the attack physically mentally emotionally and spiritually you can see it in the news you can see it everywhere it's it's kind of it's multi-pronged it's incessant it doesn't seem to kind of take a breather or a break 
when one finishes another is already taking its place. In my humble opinion and in the ways that I've been I've been guided specifically over the last four years or so is to meet that 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 I'm not going to use the word force because it's no longer a force it's like a depleted energy field that's kind of breaking down but still making lots of noise we meet it with love okay that might kind of trigger many of you that are listening that have been on the business end of it we all have in some way or another and could still well be the target of it I mean just take for example yesterday I had a video removed from Facebook that I recorded with my beautiful friend Karen Main outside while it was nice and sunny and the message I got from the face from Facebook was that this violates cyber security <laughs> and I got and Amanda Lawrence got the same and I know other people did as well just seemed to be like this field test you know what can we can remove what can we do sort of thing so meet everything that you are presented with with love that is the only alchemizing force on this planet that has the power to just completely dissolve and transform everything you're being presented with into a higher format. Easier said than done in many cases, but love takes many forms. And one of the forms that it presents itself is grounded, anchored, resolute sovereignty. And I know for a fact that it will come to a stage where people just just simply say no no none co- no more cooperation uh, i've sp- uh, again i've done videos previously on loving non compliance but i think in this case in this phase where we're being gruelingly physically kind of taken through our purging where we're releasing everything that we can't take into the fifth dimension on a daily basis practicing returning to the old ways ceremony working with your crystals going outside in nature like I am start your day by setting your intentions to fill fill it with love regardless of what you are faced with what comes out of the trees going raw or or whatever that is the way that we are being guided to set up this new platform and I've seen so many I've seen so many beautiful examples of this people are truly coming together we're all feeling that urge or urgency or pull from our navel chakra to draw us into community be that spiritual community be it physical community we're all coming together and I was I know I posted about it the other day so honoured and truly humbled I said thank you to all of you as well again who who put your vote in and it's the other the other night not last night but the night before I was part of a morning I was part of a ceremony and an award for by the, um, from the Alchemistic Awards hosted by the lovely Alexander Wenman and I received gold for best um, YouTube or spiritual podcast which is beautiful thank you all so much and I joint golded with the amazing Stephen Nabell, who has been putting his heart and his soul into this spiritual pathway for a long, long time. So to be, to be kind of part of that, and it, as I was sat there and we were all online on Zoom, I felt the power of the field. 
I felt it. I could feel how strong and dedicated that we've all become. Be we beginners, you know, just coming onto this ascension pathway, feeling a little green behind the ears maybe, or we've been doing it for a while. One year, five years, decade, three decades, it doesn't matter. You know, you're here now. <laughs> You've, uh, you've done the first bit and this is where things get interesting. But the strength of our field is we can no longer say that we're doing this without support. It's incredible. And that has solidified into a golden form this year. And that is because of the physical changes that we're undergoing, enabling us to hold that light within ourselves and manifest the truth as a physical radiance as well as an energetic. So things are about to get exciting. We're gonna see a lot of change or maybe a lot of applied pressure during this Capricorn, Jupiter, um, the Pluto and Capricorn retrograde. And but we're all ready for it. There's nothing to be scared of. There's nothing that we can't handle. We've prepared ourselves so beautifully and we're all together. <laughs> So talking to together, I am going to be joining the lovely Jackie White and other speakers tomorrow at the Day of Rejuvenation in Magna Road near Wimborne in Dorset. And it's going to be lovely, so come along. If you're in the area, you want a decent day's workshop, I'll be speaking, there'll be other beautiful souls speaking and working energetically. Then on Sunday night, Sunday Night Ascension Club, Integrating Light. And then on the 22nd, and you can't miss this either, I am going to be part of the Equinox Soul Ascension Workshop, my good friend Karen Main. And again, there's going to be, I think there's going to be four of us all together working on that day. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Come along. <laughs> Love you all and have a beautiful weekend. Whatever you've got planned, get your Ascension party frocks on or your shirts or your boots or whatever, because it's going to get interesting. Love you all. See you soon. Bye for now.